the chosen these twelve apostles they were the chosen ones before that israel the chosen and these twelve evocative of the twelve tribes of israel where are we in this gospel we to war among the chosen your story will begin or your story will become beautiful only if you realize you are among the chosen specially called and for a special purpose so how precious you are how significant is your life your vocation and who you are and what you are in every way significant god's choice you are god's you are god's chosen one so rejoice in the special favor and blessing god has given you and the blessings the lord has shared always rejoice in the goodness and goodness and mercy of god Let us go further. Lord chose these disciples for us for a special purposes. Each one was called for a special purpose. <clears throat> They fulfilled their mission in their own way. All those apostles in their own way. See Simon the Zealot and Judas, son of James. don't know much about them all we know is that they preached the gospel in Assyria Egypt and Lebanon and Persia and they we believe they were martyred together killed together suffered death for the lord together something interesting about Judas or Jude the parents in for desperate causes Can you remember in the gospel one place Judas speaks this Judas son of James check your memory only one place in the gospel he speaks only one line do you know where it is gospel of John chapter 14 verse 22 Judas son of James asked Jesus you are revealing everything to us so interesting you're telling all about the father about who, who what is going to happen you're telling everything what about the world outside why don't you make a, something spectacular for the whole world to believe in you we are only 12 why don't you speak about to the whole humanity you have the power grant you just make some spectacular show or something some some kind of spectacular revelation for the world to believe in you of course the lord gives an answer and simon and jude gives the answer with their life they go out to proclaim the lord to the ends of the earth all the apostles went to the ends of the earth and that's why that's how we to have received our the good news of faith in Jesus the same mission is given to you and me too the lord doesn't make any spectacular revelation now we are the ones the weak ones the frail ones the broken ones he has chosen us to be the carriers of his good news we are called to proclaim his good news by the way we leave the gospel just a closing thought i said we are among the chosen the best place among the chosen is be like saint john the evangelist what is 
so lovely about St. John is, the picture of John, if you remember, in the Last Supper is John leaning on Jesus. The message is very significant. John is experiencing the intimacy, the peace and joy of Jesus. As we experience in the heartbeat of Jesus, absorbing all the love of Jesus, finding comfort and peace in his embrace. From that embrace, John looks at the world. From that embrace, John looks at the world. You and me will have a a meaningful life, beautiful life, and we will be able to proclaim the gospel powerfully and beautifully only if we are looking at the world from the embrace of Jesus, leaning on, leaning on him and depending on him and always enjoying the love and goodness of God, enjoying all that you look at others and the whole world, then your life will be a good news.